Hey y'all, so the time right now is 1020 and y'all today has really been a day. It is so much going on on the floor. It is so much going on in the store. <laughs> I just got so overwhelmed. But I'm trying to be calm. But I just got so overwhelmed because I don't like being stressed. And whenever I feel stressed, I take myself out of the situation. But I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be calm. It's a lot. Anyways. I'll show you guys what we have on the floor. And the new pieces that we have and things that we got to do today. I'm going to be here for a while today. Because... I'm going to be here for a while today, so... But, yeah, I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, so this is our hutch that we um, have. And it's actually on top of the server. Remember I was telling y'all that we was going to get the hutch in a server? So, well, we already got the server last week. But this is the hutch that actually goes with it. It looks really nice. And I'm just going to place some pictures here. Um, not pictures. I was going to place some decor items here real quick. Right now, this is all that I have right now to work with. We don't have a ton of decor items over here. But this is what I have right now for the area. So I'll try, I'll try to see what I can come up with and kind of place these over here. But this is the hutch that we got the top part on top of the server. So let's see what we can do. Okay, y'all. So we over here by the hutch area. I just want to make sure that the camera is like focused. But I think I'm going to take these two right here. And place them. They always take the backs and stuff off. But we got to place these books about it. And then I'm going to take this little basket. Put that there. And then I'm going to take these moss balls right here. I'm not gonna take them out because these are actually for sale. This is six count of pairs. So I'm gonna take these and probably like set them like right up here. And then lastly, I'm gonna take these. I think I'm going to place these. Okay, y'all. So, this is actually how the hutch turned out. Like I said, I just put a few pieces on here just to kind of put some items on here. Um, but I think it turned out really cute for what we got available <laughs> in the store. But I just put some books right here. And then down here, I put a plate, which I want to put some more here. And then down here, I have this really cute little basket with some little clear containers. Also up under here, I just end up putting some wine glasses and a wine bottle there. And then I put um, these two like clear buckets here. And then I put these two like fruit canvases over here. I just put the bag of pears, which are for sale. And then I put these six inch moss balls in this one. And then I put some books down here. Simple, but still like you get the picture. And then once we step back here, this is the whole entire set, which is the bed set, the hutch, and the dining table. And as you guys can see, this is the dining table. Are we missing, are we missing a chair? I feel like something is missing. Maybe it's just need to be scooted over. But I could have sworn there's more chairs. Maybe it's just need to be scooted over. Which I think is really cute, to be honest. I want you guys to comment, let me know what you think. I just love this set so much. Um, put 
this whole complete set together. And I think as far as colors, everything just goes together very, very well. So I want you guys to comment let me know about this and how you guys think um, everything turned out with the hutch in the back, the dining table, and the bedroom set as well. And then this is another look at the hutch from the bottom up into the top area. So yeah, I think it's better to get so let's go around the store because we got a few more items to get now. So this is the next new piece that we have. This actually um, is, I think it's like a server. Yeah, and it goes with this table right here. So it goes with this table and it's a server. It's 500, that ain't bad. It's on the drawers. So that's on the drawers so on the inside. And then it has some shelves with it as well. So I just placed it behind the table because I had the room for it. So it's like that's the server. Then it has pictures above it and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple items on here. items on there and all these basically um, kind of came around the same side of the entryway experience so as you can see all the colors are pretty much neutral um, in this area and that's how this wall right here looks with the server now with a couple of items on there so I think it's still simple but clean. I ain't doing too much, so let's go to the next. This is another new piece that we got in, which is another dining server. Y'all, it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day in the name of Jesus. Um, it's 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 been a day. It's been a day. I'm ready to go home. I've been here about nine hours today. Okay, this is what a like like this is what a stress comes in at, and this is where I'll be like, do I actually want to work it on a fat? I wanted to show you guys something that I was looking at purchasing. Right now, we have um, up to 50% off of our accessories and stuff like that. Um, so back here, this is what I put in the back for me, for my house. So I put this in the back for my house. And I'm like, should we get? Should we get? Should we purchase? Should we purchase? So I don't know how big this is, but let me tell you something. It's giving big enough. So right now, the retail price on here right now, y'all, it's going for $2.29. That's the retail price. But if it's half off, then it's half of that. So I don't I don't know the dimensions though. Actually, actually. Let's go ahead and do some measurements real quick. Let's just see if we was to purchase. What are we working with? Let's see. That's 60. So that's 60 by. That's 60 by 50. You want to know what's funny? Is that. I was going to get this other painting and it was 60 by 40. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, it was 60 by 40. So this is 60 by 50. This just might work in a living room. I'm just saying. Should we play? Should we play? And the only reason why I don't really mind it, y'all, even though this is like a stark white, obviously, Cause this is kind of like a stark white to me. Like it go, da -da 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 -da. and then you got the black, got that. But then those browns and the like lighter, like not really cream, but like 
like tan brownish i think that's what really got me like hmm this may work for my space so now i'm like hmm should we see what this will look like and i'm getting 50 percent off on it so i think we should see what it looked like then i'm like will this actually fit in the car maybe give me art that's too big so where i can't fit it in my truck and that's how i know it's gonna be big on that wall i'm just saying i think it'll be a statement i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go home try it out because i've been having my eye on this for a little while now i think i'm gonna go home try it out and see what it do and then yeah so we about to get this i don't think it's nothing else that i want to show y'all on the floor right now y'all today been so stressful today it's i don't want to be stressed about nothing and i feel like if it's causing me stress and if it's causing me my peace then it's too expensive like <laughs> sorry i gotta go hey y'all so it is actually a few days later i think today is actually thursday and tomorrow is actually friday um and i wanted to um get on camera real quick i'm actually vlogging from my phone but i wanted to get on camera real quick and show y'all this outfit so this is actually what i'm wearing for today y'all it's so cute um when i had with the columbus last weekend y'all i had got this um button down um black and white shirt y'all it's so good y'all the shirt is so gorgeous what i did was i had paired it with this um all black skirt that i ended up getting from sheen it's so good with my sandals from target um just super chill but super cute and then i end up putting on my glasses that i got from amazon and this is something else that i just got this watch i got this watch right here it's you can't even see it it's an um Nowest watch i got this from macy's drop um at the easton mall i love that stack it looks so cute we are actually inside of h m in the mall but I'm about to go to Express and do some returns real quick. I just think the outfit is just so cute today, but let's head out. I'm grabbing a couple of items and then we're gonna head to Express and see what they got. Thank you, dear. You too. Okay, y'all, so I'm actually in Express and I'm trying on this vest. Now, this is actually not the one that I want. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't take these glasses off, I love these. Um, the one that I want is actually black, but I wanted to try on a medium and see how I fit. I think I would definitely get a large in this just because I feel like the large will give me some room. But y'all, look at these jeans. Like, look at these jeans. Oh, yeah. I need these. And y'all know fall about to come. Look at these jeans. These jeans are eating the growth up. These are so cute. I love the vest. I think the color is really, really cute. But um, I'm going to actually order it online and get it sent to my house. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this in um, a large. So these jeans are actually the 70s flare jeans. Um, Mid-rise. And this, this is about how far they come up. That's how they look. Super cute. It's, it's about to be jeans season in a minute. So yeah, love these. And like I said, they got like the little flare, flare pants love that look so oh also they do have like a little stretch in them if you guys are curious because that's one reason i love these is because of the stretch and they just look so cute and i love the wash the wash on them is so good so yeah i like these and then i'm going to try on another pair and then show you guys how the other pair look but so far these are a win Okay, y'all, so this is how the other ones look. They a little bit tighter than the other ones that I had, but y'all, they so cute. They so cute, though. They a little tighter, but... <laughs> Baby, they sitting. <laughs> they a little tighter, but... I know they stretch out. They a little tighter, though, but... I know they stretch out, but they so cute. They look so cute. Especially with this little vest. I love this. And then it also got the flare pants. So I'm thinking like, should I do these? Should I do these and the other ones? Because I love these jeans. They look so good. Yep, so that's how these look. This is the second pair. 
That's how the sides look. Cute. And this how the other side look. Flares. Mm-hmm. I think I like these. Let me know which ones y'all like, because I'm getting two pair. And I'm gonna order my best. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about these too. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Have a good day. So we actually have a new wig today. So I will be going on vacation soon for my birthday. If you guys don't know, my birthday is next month, July 2nd. Save the date, okay? <laughs> but we have um, a new unit from Shane today, y'all. Super excited because I did go ahead and get a curly unit. This is actually a volumized um, wig from Shane. It's actually in a, um, it's like a kinky curly look it's about um 14 inches and it's 13 by 4 and it's a human hair unit so i'm very excited to get into this now let me go ahead and make sure um i get y'all all the details so she is a 250 density um and she is a 14 and i'm excited also she got baby hairs okay yeah you get a wig cap strap as well and sheen wig got a, a club Okay, so they do have a free gift if you guys um, type in code wigs for you um, at checkout to get your free gift. And this is everything that will come inside your free gift right here. So if you guys um, use code wigs for you, you will get a free gift when you guys check out. Also, Sheen is running a um, sale on the website right now. All you have to do is search wig 11 on the Sheen website to get up to 30% off on all their units right now. Um, so you guys definitely make sure you take advantage of that. Also, they have a stock cart for you here. So y'all let's get into this wig because honestly, I'm ready to wear some new hair. Like, but I ain't gonna lie, like this right here, the long like middle part bust down, she been eating up. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, this is by Shane too as well, if you guys don't know. So I want to thank Shane for sponsoring today's video. So when you get the unit, this is how she looks. Oh, she's super curly. Now, a 250 density, y'all, she thick. A 250 density, oh my goodness. Let's see, because normally hair that thick, it can be overwhelming, but let's see. She has a comb in the nape area. She got a comb back here. And then she also has a comb on both sides. She has a comb on both sides. And then she has a comb in the middle too as well. So, let me show you guys the lace. Ooh, that lace. Ooh. Yeah. So, she is in a 14. And I'm glad she in a 14. Honestly, I could have even did a 10 because I want a bob. Like, I want a bob that's just going to just sit up on my, like, neck, like, but just get them vibes. You know what I'm saying? So, she is a 13 by 4. Um, I never really get a 13 by 4 lace. I always get, like, a 4 by 4. But I knew I wanted this look. So, this is how her lace is looking. Really nice and natural. This is a transparent lace as well. So it goes very far back. Let's see right here. So it goes about this far back. So the lace is looking really good though. So this is how the lace look. Like I said, a transparent lace. And what I'll probably do is go through a hot comb with her. And this is how, okay, so this is how her curls look. This is how... <laughs> This is how short she is. And look at her curls, y'all. Look at the curls. Oh, the curls is curling. She's in like a natural color. The curls is really curling. And I love the fact that she's a 14. And again, the lace is like a 13 by 4. I'm going to go ahead and put her on and cut her lace. And then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So this is the finished look. She's cute. She's very full. She's very full. I definitely got to get used to it. This is how her parting looks right here. Parting is looking real nice and natural. Um, I definitely have to get used to it for sure. Y'all so bright. Hold on. But I will say that it's definitely giving black girl magic. Like, it's a very natural looking wig. Um, like I said, the density is 250. As you can see, she is extremely, extremely thick. Like... She's really thick, but she's like cute and like flirty. And this is how the back of the hair looks, as you guys can see. 
bob is bobbing like the curls are so pretty it's really gorgeous hair as you guys can see it's definitely like a cute like it kind of made me look younger a little bit um i'll probably like cut around the face to kind of frame my face a little more because the hair is very big and I will say that, that this is like a vacation approved on the hair because look at the curls like it's so much hair. it's so many curls I want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think of this unit on me I know it's different you know y'all know we don't ever really wear hair like this I thought it was cute when I seen it and I was like hmm I wanted something different you know like when you just used to like wearing like the same type of hair all the time I was like let me try something different and see how it looks but yeah I would definitely like bring this down some more to where it's like like a little flatter and then you know see how she looks then but for the most part the curls are curling that kinky curly is really pretty as you guys can see she's really pretty the bob is really nice and you guys like like i said earlier like you see where like where look at that like that bob is <laughs> that's a bob that is a like, bob 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 so yeah y'all i will leave the links to this unit down below and do not forget to use code wigs for you when you check out for your free gift also, do not forget to search Wig11 on Sheen's website so you guys can get all their deals that they have going on right now. I want you guys to comment below about this hair. Like, would y'all wear um, hair like this? Like, would y'all wear a wig like this? It's definitely giving it magic, though. And so, yeah, I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think. And I want to thank Sheen for watching this portion of today's video. Hey, guys, and welcome back to a brand new day. So... The time right now is 3.42. It is the weekend. Y'all, I'm so glad to be off work. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, yeah. Last week just really just burnt me out. Um, but it is Saturday, thankfully. Tomorrow Sunday. I'll probably do like some little self-care tomorrow. So I want to come on camera today just to talk to y'all. Let y'all know what's going on. First of all, can you guys see the obvious? Can you see? Can you see? yes we did we did go ahead and purchase um the painting behind us we will get into that a little later but i do have a few more other things that i want to show you guys and just kind of how i kind of achieved a high-end look in a way so it's not like a teach me kind of like video but it's just showing you guys just a few items that you can use just to um get like that high-end look if like you like that type of style but yeah, I just got hit to this tea. And this tea is called the Big Bigelow Tea. Y'all, this tea is so good. First off, you know how like when you be reminiscing and stuff and you be like, oh, that was so good. Or like, <laughs> this is so funny. And you would just like think back of that moment and like, you'd be like, oh my God, it was, it was, it was a vibe. Yeah, and I look down, right? Because I swear, like we always tend to always think about something that kind of takes us back to our past y'all i look down and i didn't even know that these teas even had these little messages right i look down and the tea message says settling is not an option i said <laughs> i said baby the universe spoke to me so fast it was like soon as i thought about it it was like nope nope here's your message to keep it moving and you're doing the right thing and you're heading in the right direction so it says settling is not an option i said okay period i said now that's tea literally tea so yeah this is actually um the uh green tea with lemon that i got um it's so good it's like a soothing because for some reason i don't care for the green tea um by yogi because i got like all the flavors but y'all the green tea by yogi i don't know it's, it's weird to me but i'm drinking this tea with um green tea with lemon it's so good y'all anyways i'm drinking out of my really cute um tea glass with my with my little plate that i end up getting from crate and barrel y'all it's so cute but i'm sipping this tea and what's funny is is that I have not had coffee this morning. I haven't had any coffee this morning. And I'm actually glad, y'all, because I'm trying to really get off of coffee. Um, because I feel like I be intaking too much sugar when it comes to coffee. So I'm, I'm really trying to wing off of coffee. Um, it's not easy. I'm going to just say that, though. Um, <laughs> getting off that coffee is not easy because I do drink, like, 
Starbucks. You guys know that I drink Starbucks. That's pretty much all I drink. I even buy it for the house and make drinks and stuff like that. Um, but the tea, I'm starting to find out that the tea is more satisfying to me. Well, let me stop lying. The tea is not more satisfying because I could drink an iced coffee with an avocado toast like five days a week. Like I'm not even kidding. That is like my go-to breakfast, <laughs> my most fulfilling and my most satisfying breakfast ever is that but anyways y'all but i'm finding that tea is very satisfying to me and it's very soothing also too i like um i like drinking it at night time y'all it's so good at night it's so good but i'm drinking tea today um and i have not ate anything now i don't know if tea is supposed to make you i don't know like i don't know if it's supposed to curb your appetite i think coffee does but y'all this tea is so good and it feel like it's like it feels like it's like good for me i don't know but enough of that because i can go about that all day <laughs> a literal tea girl now but um okay y'all so look what we got oh my goodness y'all i'm excited y'all she looks so pretty um so uh we did get the painting as you can see it is living large and taking charge okay so the uh, painting is back here looking really nice very big so again um i knew that i wanted to achieve a certain look in the house so i know that i wanted to go big so my tip number one to create a luxury a luxurious space is to go big on that artwork as you can see go big on the artwork i think our artwork that we had before it wasn't big but i think both of them put together on this couch which is not too big was okay but this right here this right here this is about to take us to that next level okay and i'm talking about like that real high-end look level i'm super excited so my tip number one is your artwork needs to be as big as possible <laughs> i mean as big as possible um i don't know if i would have went bigger i would probably go taller but this painting right here um is actually a 50 by 60 so it's 50 inches long well it's it's 50 inches in height and it's 60 inches in width so that's how big it is it is huge it is so good it's so nice um i was concerned about like how to say i was y'all but to be honest this works in my space i know it's a little like it's very eye-catching um it's very much so like oh my god this is huge like it, like it grasps your attention though right like as soon as you send you like whoa look at that painting like it just it's a statement so one thing i will say about this painting y'all is i've never had a painting that was like this material do y'all hear that this right here is almost like paper mache it's almost like a canvas like a raw canvas and it's like it's not smooth it's textured and i think that's what really makes it look high end as well it's not smooth at all it's like a textured canvas almost like a raw canvas where it ha like it has no type of sheen on it it's just like you want to know what this feels like it feels like um burlap that's what it is this 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 feels like burlap it's like a burlap material like real rough not really smooth like burlap y'all and the paint on here the paint on here looks so well y'all because because of the burlap like material and it just looks so so good um and then also as you can see with the um th the little splashes of brown coming from over here i love that y'all it's so nice <laughs> it's so nice um i'm super excited i guess we might as well talk about the painting since we i mean right here <laughs> right so um if you guys don't know um this painting came from ashley's furniture so i did buy this from my store um and it retailed for originally um i think 222 i got it for when i went to the counter it wasn't exactly 50 percent off because i feel like 50 percent off would have been like more like 115 so i did not get it for 115 i got it for like 147 so i think it was like up to 50 percent off but it wasn't exactly half of 230 which is 115 so but nonetheless i think it was still a deal and like i said before i have been having my eye on this picture probably since i brought it from my back stock area 
um i did pair this with um these two teardrop mirrors in my store and um when we had to remove them for this new bar stool area that we just created um i had to find somewhere to put them and i think that was my opportunity and i was just like i'm like you know what i've been talking about art and i've been talking about how i need art and stuff i'm like this is perfect <laughs> i was like this is gonna be this is exactly what we needed and the fact that it was on sale <clears throat> yeah it was it, it was calling my name so really really nice um i also love the fact that all the swipes on here are kind of like the same um width so it, it so it just it just flows together like it's not like super skinny swipes i feel like they're all consistent with the brush that was used and i think that really makes it look very high quality as well um and again as you guys can see it has that brown over here in this area that darker brown kind of going that way which looks really good which to me is like warm but um that warm brown makes it look so good and i feel like that's what really is helping it um look not so harsh it's just kind of having that splash of brown in there that's kind of coming in here but then also having that tan up in this area too as well and just kind of just bringing those warm colors in um that looks really nice now i have not had a picture with white on it in a while oh well besides the ones that i made like those right there but um i haven't really had a picture with white on it in a while um but i love the white i think i forgot about how much i love white because <laughs> y'all know at first i was a i was a white and black girl um when i um was in my apartment that was my color scheme that's what i was known for and that's what really got people's attention when i first started youtube in 2018 is my um style when it came to the black and white and how i put it together so well and how just elegant and clean it looked when i was the glam girl um but y'all it looks so so good i'm so glad we got it i'm super excited to see how it would look up here as well so we are going to take this down today now i'm not sure if i'll hang it today but i do want to sit it on the back of my couch to see exactly how it's looking now let me show you guys a few more items so i would say go big on wall art if you guys want a space that look very luxury um and you want a space that look really relatively expensive i would go big on wall art um now let's talk about coffee table decor <laughs> so as you guys know um i have a round coffee table and it has it's a two-tier coffee table now i know i was talking about a new coffee table in the last video but now that i'm putting things together and i've visioned things in my mind i now know that i probably don't want a new coffee table because the coffee table i was thinking was like a black coffee table but i realized that i may not want to really close my coffee table space in i like the fact that it has the clear two-tier um shelves because it kind of keeps the floor open and it makes the floor look a little bigger and not so cluttered okay so the first thing i want to show y'all um and this is just like a few things that i think can be simple but still have a huge impact on your space um so the first thing is going to be coffee table books um i think this is a good way to make your space look very expensive with coffee table books because you can literally just decorate with these and your space look like something out of a magazine <laughs> like i'm not even lying um ever since i had got into coffee table books i have really fell in love with coffee table books this is actually um the patina modern book but i do have another book that's actually similar to this like um cream color back here that's actually kind of similar to that color that would actually go really nice with that picture as a matter of fact i might bring that down it's actually on my shelf back there in the back in my dining area but i have this patina modern book right here this actually came from amazon really really nice this is how it looked close up and this is kind of like a, a modern book um where you just have like a ton of pages of just like a nice space so i love this book because you just get all type of inspiration for one thing and then also too y'all i don't know if y'all realize but like they have paragraphs in here that you can read and learn about decor and stuff like this so you know not only can you guys use it for a decor statement on your um coffee table but y'all we need to use these books and actually read them too because it is a lot of knowledge in here in these books when it comes to your space but again you just get all type of like pages of like different decor 
and it's just a ton um so what i do with this book it's just a lot of different like this is another page that i like um that's kind of like that kind of matches the picture this is actually the page that i've been having on um opened up on my table so what i've been doing is normally i would close my books and stack things on top of them. design notes this is really nice so now y'all yeah, what i'm doing is i'm taking my coffee table books and i'm actually opening them up i'm opening up my books now and i'm putting like a decor piece um like kind of like landed on it or whatever and i just feel that it just bring more interest to the book versus the book just being closed like i think it's cute closed don't get me wrong but like when it's open you get more detail and it's just more interesting i've never took this cover off this book but let me see <gasps> it's black oh this is nice okay so the patina modern book is black oh my with the gold white girl this looks so good i did not know it was black I ain't even trying to focus but y'all look and then it got the patina modern like engraved in it like that i did not know that this book was black you see you learn something new every day because i did not know that this book was black so with the gold also too y'all i may be bringing like a little gold in here because as you can see which don't get me wrong like i know that gold can be a little tacky but it's really all about how you do it i don't think i would be a complete gold girl again like i was before because at first i used to do like gold decor gold and silver a lot of chromes da, 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 da. but i do think it's certain pieces that you can add in your space that don't look cheap that can actually elevate your space and make it look more high-end without doing too much but um i love this i love you better focus okay i love the patina modern um sign on here and i love that it's in gold and it just really just i think that was my sign to add just a little bit just a little bit of gold into the space especially with like artwork like this i think it's safe to do um but yeah that will be my next um little tip on far as um when it comes to coffee tables is definitely um getting books for your coffee table that is the first thing you can do to make your space look more put together um and just more modern and expensive okay so the second thing and like i said these are just like a few pieces that i'll probably use um on my coffee table today just to kind of like put some things around just to show you all um this right here is a chain chains are really good to use as well um and they're very minimal and they look so nice um i actually have this in a black wood one as well um that's actually on my shelves back there and then this one is like a natural um this one is like a natural wood chain but as you can see those neutrals really just tying everything together is just the best this is why i will probably <laughs> honestly i would probably always be a neutral girl now because i feel like it's very versatile and i feel like you can do so much with having neutral decor i just feel like even if you wanted to be a color girl you could still have neutrals and put your colors with them because you got a neutral base you know what i mean so this is really really nice and i love this this actually came from the goodwill believe it or not now i'm not sure where it originally came from but like do you guys see how expensive it look like it looks expensive and it looks really nice but you can find these from anywhere I just I shop everywhere but you can find these pretty much anywhere but something like this you can easily layer onto your books and it just give it a nice look whether if you like laying it across your book or you know because it's like a big chunky link so it just look really nice and very put together so I love that okay another thing and this is basically like my last thing let me just take a little sip of tea because y'all my tea will get cold quick do anybody else hate when they tea get cold I'm the type of girl where I will put that tea back in the microwave, okay? I'm not lying. But for some reason, when I put it back in the microwave, it don't taste the same. So I'm like, let me finish my tea <laughs> before it actually gets really cold. The last thing, um, so I would consider this, um, when it comes to the coffee table, I would consider this, I mean, of course, it's a chain, but I'm saying like far as categories when it comes to high-end looks, and making your space look um expensive 
I would say, I would say, um, oh God, what's the word? Not a statement piece, but I would say texture and shapes. I would say adding like texture, um, different type of sculpture shapes, um, on to your coffee book, something like this, or it can even be just any other type of like sculpture, um, will really make your, um, coffee table look very high end. Love this for me. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say for that. And I think that's a really good place to start with when you try to like curate items together to make a whole coffee table feel luxury and like pull together so y'all the last thing i would say is bowls now um i've really been loving bowls lately um i started using bowls a few years ago but i also have a um cream like natural looking bowl that i used around the holiday season where i put like pumpkins in or like christmas stuff and stuff like that and i got from hobby lobby but y'all i got this bowl right here as you guys can see it is very high end now, this is like a natural wood bowl y'all i did get this bowl from my store ashley furniture does have these bowls and it retailed for originally 59 dollars. y'all it was actually online for 37 dollars, so it was marked down clearance so they did match um they did match the online price and if you guys don't know um if you come into ashley's and you see it cheaper online they will match the price um inside the store as well so i got this really nice bowl and y'all it is so big look at it it's so big it is so nice and it's really giving that rh type of vibe or just like that um pottery barn or just like um crate and barrel vibe y'all look how expensive this bowl look look at the texture of this bowl and then it has this really nice like base at the bottom really really nice but get into the texture like this is what i'm talking about like that texture that looks really nice and high end y'all this bowl looks so expensive and you guys see how big it is you guys see like this is a big bowl now bowls like this will really tie a space together completely you can put these on your dining table you can put these on your coffee table you can put these on your dressers in your bedroom these are very versatile and y'all having this is really going to upgrade that coffee table in my living room it's gonna look really really nice um a very thick as you can see very thick bowl ring like like you can just tell like it's like a probably like a real wood bowl and it just looks very 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 nice and obviously it's black but you guys see how it just has like that very natural but beautiful black color it is so good it is so and y'all see how big it is y'all i love this bowl so these bowls are definitely a statement on your coffee table and they will definitely upgrade your coffee table and make your coffee table look super nice and definitely take it to the next level also you can put moss inside of these you can put the english moss inside of these also you can put the green moss as well i actually have both um so i've been liking the english moss which is like that like hay color and it's like a creamy color that's gonna look so pretty in here and like a creamy like english moss it's gonna look real nice and it's kind of natural it kind of reminds me of the color on this picture right here so it's really gonna bring out that picture really really nice so the last thing i would say to um make your coffee table look very luxury is definitely any type of wood texture bowl that look vintage and that looks natural it's gonna really give you that high-end look for real okay y'all so we are now in the living room um and i took all the old stuff out and like stuff that we obviously not gonna use anymore so i took all of that out and i'm going to start fresh like i said these are just a few pieces simple minimum that i want to show you guys and kind of put in the living room but just enough to where i don't have to overcrowd the space so let me show y'all so basically um well first off let me let me let y'all know what i end up doing to the living room so as you guys can see um i did do a little arranging here remember i had these two chairs right here over here i moved them because it's no reason for these chairs to be right here at all in life ever so i moved those chairs and i put them back to the window where they normally be at anyway and i like the vibe with the um chairs back towards the window and the furniture over here like i feel like 
it just it's like a nice layout you get what i'm saying y'all right here i feel like i want this to be like an accent wall so um i um end up putting the chairs over here so um so i put the chairs right here and i end up bringing back out my little black stand it's kind of like i think it's like a i think it's what do they call these it is a glass stand or a cup stand or something but anyways i got this stand right here from holding this and i just kind of put it in the middle um just to kind of put something here where like if i wanted to place something right there and then i still have the mirror over here in the corner by the way this is the outfit um, for today i have on my white shirt from target and then i have on my um boyfriend cropped um levi jeans so i thought this was like cute and like simple but like but yeah that's what i'm wearing today and then i'm wearing my um my necklace that i always wear every day and then my um watch with my accessory so that's what i'm wearing today and i still have the mirror um right here in the corner i'm not even sure why i still got it here but obviously i like it here and i like to do like my outfit of the day and like you know look at my outfit before i actually go out to work I think that's one thing I do like about it is that I can look at like what I'm wearing and see how it looked before I actually head out. So love that. But anyways, let's get back to this. Um, over here, this is the view from this side of the room and over to this side. As you guys can see, we do have a ton of wall here. And that's why I liked that our picture that we just got from our store, Ashley's. Um, it's big because it's going to look real grand on that wall because this is a lot of wall. Um, I know in the last video you guys were talking about adding a new piece um, to this couch right now. I don't want to do that right now. Um, it's not necessary for me right now, so I'm not doing that right now. But I just want to show you guys how it's kind of set up with the sofa right here, the blank canvas. And then we have our um, table here and then we have our lamp over there. Uh, so we have this tree here. And I don't know if you guys know, but um, all of my curtains that you guys see, um, all of my curtains end up coming from Amazon. So, and these curtains, if anybody was curious, these are like a white, not like white, but they're like a linen, like super, super creamy, light cream, like linen. You guys see where it's like an undertone, like light, light cream brown, but it's like a linen type almost like that burlap material linen type of material but they're like really really light and it kind of got like this stitching in there can y'all see that stitching it has like this stitching in there it's like really nice and bright but anyways those are the curtains and they came from amazon i'll link them if you guys are interested i'm going to well first off i'm going to show y'all what i was talking about when i was talking about um well first off this is the picture and the sun is going in and out being annoying but this is the picture. This is how big it is. And it goes like over here in this corner. So this is how big it is. And I want to sit it on the back of the couch to see how it look. I do want to hang it up. I just don't know when I want to hang it up. But I do want to see how it look on the back of the couch. I have my book that I was telling you guys about that I ended up getting from Ashley's. And then I have my chain links. And then I have my book. Also, I end up putting my vase in here on my dining table. I got this moss that looks really nice. I'm going to show y'all. And I want to really put it inside of here because I think it'll really pop really well. Now, I do have a little bit left in my bag still. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a trash bag down here. And then, not a trash bag, but like a little Kroger bag. Same thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to place it here and then place like just like a layer of the English moss on top of it. So, uh, by the way, it is super messy. This is the moss I was telling you about. So, basically, I got my bag already up under here. As y'all can see, it gets pretty messy. I got my Kroger bag up under there. And what that bag did was just kind of lift it up and just kind of give it the illusion that it's more in there, but it's not. Because I have a bag up under here. Stuff don't start getting everywhere. Oh, my gosh. I hate when things start getting dirty. <laughs> it really, it just makes me anxious. I don't know why. Like, uh, but anyways, um... So this is the English moss um, right here, which is like, a, like I said, like a creamy color. Let me see if I can make this camera darker. Like I said, which is like a creamy color, as you guys can see, like a natural color. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I love how it looks. And this is how it's going to look inside 
of the bowl but like you see how like this color just pops in this black bowl like it just looks really nice and it just looks really nice to keep it together so now what i'm gonna do we're gonna set up the camera and then put this picture in the living room so let's get started because y'all we ain't never had art this big never like i feel like even with like the two pictures that i put on well no we have not we have not had art this big even with like my old like glam art i still have never had art this big y'all this is huge like this is huge we've never had art this big in life so i think that's what i'm most excited about too is like okay we never had art that look you know what i mean so i'm like i'm excited uh, i still got the tag on because i was like mm, if it don't work for the space we're gonna take it back but yeah hold on let's put this up here so i'm gonna try to put it in the middle of the couch because i'm gonna sit it right here kind of like in the middle kind of like in the middle and see how it looks scoot it over a little bit more So right now it's like not touching my cushions or anything. It's probably like a half an inch from not touching my cushions. Because like I said, this material was like a natural like material. So what are we thinking? What honey? What are we think? Let me let me step back real quick. Let me step back real quick because wow. Wow, y'all. Oh my gosh wow wait a minute wait let me let me make sure y'all can hold on are y'all seeing what i'm seeing let me let me darken this up just a little bit okay do y'all see this i think it looks good i'm gonna darken it just a little bit just so y'all can get like a real feel y'all this looks good this looks so good oh my gosh and then y'all so i would say we got about a good four inches still left to show so yeah that's good it looks amazing i am happy <laughs> I am really satisfied with this, y'all. But like, do y'all see what I mean when I say like it's it's a very statementy like picture. Like it just works so well in the space. Like, are y'all catching this? Like it just works so well in the space. It looks really good. I think it looks really good. Comment and let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna pick you guys up. Matter of fact, let's um let's get into this coffee table real quick. Okay, so I like this angle because I feel like you guys can see better with this angle. So let's actually put some pieces down here. I was telling y'all about. Now I'm trying to figure out what um, which page I want to open it to. Y'all, this book got so many good pages. Like, look, this book has so many. Look, decorating my mood. Ain't that so good? <laughs> the colors. The co this is like the same color in the picture. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Do y'all see what I'm saying? Like, open those home decor books, honey. Open those books and put some chains or something. Like, look, they just have so many just good pages. Ooh, of just like home styling. I mean, they even tell you, um, just like you know, mimic a hotel lounge. Ooh, look, this says mimic a hotel lounge, creating intimacy in public spaces it's giving you the gems y'all look at that let me see it says we find that varied densities of furniture arrangements signal different uses of fillings for areas it says the sitting area of our kitchen in brooklyn for instance is intentionally layered with a close arrangement of pieces this allows a lot of people to be in this hard working room at once and it suggests an intimacy even when it's empty See, I can read stuff like this. Okay, so I'm looking for a page that I want to display. Ooh, I love this one. 
See, I love to display books that's like clean like this with like different type of colors and stuff. I think they'd be looking so nice. Especially with the neutral palettes. But I think I want something more like... I love this book. Especially the ones that got um, all them colors in it. I feel like I may use this one for now. That's a bedroom. Or I could use that one. But I think I want a different one. Romantic. That's a nice one. I think I'll use this one. I think I'll use this page right here. And I'm going to place the book right here. So I'm going to use this book and open it up because I like what this book is giving. So I'm going to use that book and open it up. But so. this is the chain link I was talking about where I said you can just pretty much just like lay it on a book. But still be like displaying your book. And you can see like pieces. It just make it more interesting in my opinion. And I just start opening up books like that. But to be honest, I like the trend. Me personally, I like the trend. And then next, y'all, this is our um, like rustic, not really rustic, but like our natural bowl that I was telling y'all about that we ended up getting from Ashley's Furniture. And it's just very beautiful. It has this base at the bottom. And then I have this English moss in the inside. And I'm just going to place it like right here. Like simple. But like nice. You get what I'm saying? But like not doing too much, but just doing just enough, <laughs> just enough. And I think this is just really a nice minimal style. And even if you wanted to cover, like, even if you wanted to show more of the book, you can like bring the link like a little bit over here as well. Pull the, pull the bowl there a little bit. Put the link here a little bit and just kind of make that style too. Like, I think that is so good. Let's get close-ups.